Welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skill Tone. In today's video, I am going to discuss about how to design your questionnaire well. In today's video, I am going to show you few steps, tips and tricks about designing your questionnaire for any purposes, whether it is social science, applied science or any other purposes. And then I am going to share a practical example of designing a questionnaire. And both of this presentation and the practical example will be added in my video description box. You can download it, follow it and apply it in your own purpose. So let's get started. If you would like to do a marketing survey or a socio-economic survey, you cannot achieve the success without a well-designed questionnaire. Questionnaire design is more of an art than a science. So you need to follow a concrete idea of what you are going to achieve through your questionnaire. Next, we are going to talk about the qualities of a good questionnaire. The design of a questionnaire will depend on whether the researcher wishes to collect exploratory information, meaning that qualitative information or the purpose of testing hypothesis, which also implies the quantitative information. So depending on that, you are going to design your questionnaire and the quality of the questionnaire will depend on the purpose of your research. Next, we have to remember there are a number of points that we need to keep in our mind. The first thing is the well-designed questionnaire should meet the research objective. Remember, my dear learners, you always have to keep your research objective in mind while designing your questionnaire. The next one is it should obtain the most complete and accurate information possible. So if you are looking for some information about a village, you, do, you should not leave anything unturned. You have to go and check every point possible about the village information. Well-designed questionnaire should make it easy for well respondents to give the necessary information. So my dear learners, the interview and the interviewees should be more more easy to understand together so that you can achieve your questionnaire purpose. The steps proceeding questionnaire design should look like this. First, you need to define your problem. In any research, the problem statement is the first part that you are going to put in your research design. And then the research will search for whether they will go for secondary data. For example, in this case, we are talking about a marketing problem or you are going to achieve a primary data. So exploratory research is more or less is a qualitative study and it will matters directly related to your interviewees, their knowledge and their experience. While you are talking about the quantitative study, then you may need to collect some numerical data. So writing a specific test objective, listing the hypothesis that you, you are going to test it and development of questions for questionnaire. So these are some steps to design your questionnaire. Now, depending on that, there are nine steps involved in the development of a questionnaire. And what are those steps? The first one is decide the information required. So you need to understand what are the information you need through your questionnaire survey. You just point out those information in your notebook and then you start designing your questionnaire or in other words, putting your questions. Define the target respondents. Very important. You need to decide who are your target respondents. Not all of the area persons or unit is your target respondents. So you need to target what are the respondents that you are looking for. Then choose the methods of reaching them. It's very important to find a possible reaching method to the It is always important to find a possible reaching method to the target respondents so that you can use your way of getting the information as quickly as possible. Decide a question content. What 
will be your content of the question. Then number five is develop the question wording, which is also very important. It should be easy and simple, ready to understand. Put questions into a meaningful order. Don't try to randomly choose questions and ask your respondents. Check the length of the questionnaire. Do not put it in a longer length so that people get bored. Pre-test the questionnaire using a pilot survey. Develop the final survey from after your pilot survey. So these are the nine basic steps you need to follow before you set up your questionnaire. And then how you are going to reach your target audience. There are different ways you can do that. First one is the personal interviews, then the group of focus group or you can say focus group or FGD interviews, mail your questions, telephone interviews. So these are the way you can reach your respondents very easily. Then the wording, which is very important. Survey questions can be classified into three forms. One is open-ended, close-ended an open response option question. So it, it will be a mixed type of method. So either close-ended or open-ended, you make a perfect balance in order to make a very good questionnaire. And then a physical appearance. What you are going to bring when you are going to take your questions from the field. Use a booklets, simple a clear formats with the questionnaire presentation like staple your questions and all that. Use space for writing your answers. Use color coding, different colors. Interviewer instructions, what you are going to instruct your interviewees and for the purpose of your research. You need to put it upfront before you asking any questions. So this is what how you will go to the field and collect information Use this physical appearance or tools while you are going to the field and collect information. Finally, before you go for a final survey, you need to do a pilot questionnaire. And the purpose of pilot questionnaire is that whether the questions are worded well, whether the questions have been placed in the best order, or whether the questions are understood by all classes of the respondents, whether female or male, whether additional or specific questions needed for eliminating or adding to your main survey purpose. You can find out using the pilot survey method before you go to the final survey. And finally, whether the instructions to interviews are adequate. So, all these things you can collect by using a pilot survey or a small survey before you go into deep of your main survey of the research. So by doing that, you can complete your questionnaire and then you go and collect your data from the field. Now I'm going to show you a very practical example of a questionnaire of socioeconomic information gathering. Dear learners, I am going to share a Uganda Bureau of Statistics questionnaire for socio-economic purpose survey which is also part of their household survey in 2005 and 6. This is kind of a questionnaire pattern you can follow for any type of household survey in your own country. This is freely available in internet and also I am going to share this in the video description. You can download the PowerPoint presentation as well as this sample questionnaire to follow for your own household survey purpose. So let's get see what are the items they added a standard questionnaire pattern which we already discussed in our PowerPoint slides. So the number of observant, the description is very important. Like as I said that upfront you need to put your information first. So identification of the particulars like district, country, uh, household, sample number, household code, all that information you need to put upfront. And then you go for strictly confidentiality. You need to mention that par particular thing in your questionnaire. Otherwise, people will be confused whether this will be used for your own purpose 
or your research purpose. You need to mention that upfront and also say that it's a confidential information. Then you go for positioning, staff details. As I said that you need to put your name, your date of interview, name of the supervisor, date of checking, name of field editor, all this information upfront before you go into the field survey. And the next one is going, to, I'm going to show you the household roster. You see here, it's a very nice questionnaire pattern where they put in one column several columns the different questions and at the same time at the bottom you can see here that they also put the information very well that if any new person has joined a member of your household since our first visit please record the details below so you can do like that and you see that there are different columns putting different questions one of the things which I like most from this questionnaire is the bottom coded part and this is what I also strongly recommend for all of my learners and my viewers to follow it's a very good practice for example here what is the coded for the 13 codes that they have used in this questionnaire from 1 to 13 I mean here 14 sorry so 14 14 questions and how they are going to code in this. So it is very important to code in your questions upfront and put it in your questionnaire so that you just use that code while you are recording or while you are taking information from the field. And likewise, you can design this questionnaire. So this questionnaire, all this pattern, you can follow with the coded information for your socioeconomic or household survey purpose and this question sample is going to attach in our video description so you can download it and follow it there is another question that i am going to share here is the socioeconomic status question here and this is a very simple one you put the family history up front and then you say you see what is the primary language spoken at home please describe the home where you live it's more or less a close ended question and it is easy to get the information because the questions are very straightforward. So you can see here that the employment, income, medical history, everything are under the close-ended question. So this pattern also a very good way to collect the information quickly from the field. And this questionnaire, the sample one, I'm going to share in my video description box. You can download PPT, the PowerPoint presentation and both of these samples and follow it for your own purpose. So with that note, I'm going to finish today's video. In the next video, I'm going to share how you can code your questions into R programming, Stata and eViews for analyzing purpose so that you can collect the information, put it in the software and how you can order that in your software and then finally analyze the results and i think you will be with me for the next video as well i wish all the best for now thank you bye bye